<laughs> yeah, he likes them. He likes them. There's some more here in the bucket. He's not gonna eat your hand. Oh. Get some more. Give it another. I need big ones. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> Ivan has found a friend. He's found him a buddy. Don't tease him. Oh, he's teasing me, Pop. Oh, he's teasing me. He has found a friend with this boy. He like eats him in two seconds. <laughs> like you eat your. What do you eat fast? Pizza? Like pickle pops. Pickle pop, yeah. I know. Listen to that noise. And you say, what's he doing in here? I'll tell you in a minute. And him. You can't have one. All right, you, are you through feeding? Yeah. All right. Too hard. All right. There's Johnny over there saying, I don't know what's going on, Papa. I was the only boy in here, and during the night, these two guys come in here. This, folks, was not by, this was not planned. In fact, I was trying to not let this happen. Uh, I tried to separate them today when I found out they were here. Last night, sometime during the night, Moses pushed their gate open. Uh, the chain, how he popped that chain off, I don't know. But the chain was hanging and the gate was pushed open and he was inside their, their pen. Uh, and they were in here with these guys. Now, this must have went on probably most of the night because Heidi barked several times and I come to the door to listen and didn't see anything really going on or hear anything. I didn't realize they were in here. So there's been some romance going on there today. I don't know who all has been romanced. I tried to separate them this afternoon when I brought them back in. Uh, I went out to feed today about... Sunday morning, so it was running late. And when I went out to feed, Moses were in their pen and they were not in their pen and the goats had already went into the back. So I go back and sure enough, they're back there with them. Uh, so I tried to separate them when I brought them in a while ago and I couldn't. They, they went like crazy. Everybody went crazy. All the girls went crazy. They went crazy. I had goats running everywhere, and I couldn't get them to come in the gate. So, come about June, we're going to have babies. Now, and the reason I didn't want to do this is sometimes you can't find homes for all the babies. And that just is a dilemma. But, we'll do our best. Johnny and Carrie, Sophie says, Papa, these are not, these people are not civilized like us. They're not civilized, Papa. They make all these weird noises. They don't smell good. They're not civilized. I, he don't care. He's in charge. He don't care who's in here. He's going to be in charge. All right, I'm going to cut this off. I've got more chores to do. Dan's bringing some river sand up. Do what, baby? Oh, I knew she'd like it, her and her mama. Uh, G says I've made ruts coming through here on my mule. And which there were, and water would stand. So she says, Dan, put some river sand here and the water won't stand. Yeah, that's gonna look good here. Looks good, bud. What do you think, Heidi? Think it looks good?
been a very busy day today. Well, Sunday, uh, a very busy. We have worked. You'll see our Sunday video. We worked out here. What do you think? Over over again? You know I am. Well, we'll try to do this again. <laughs> Later. You know how far I gotta drive. Oh, I could probably walk across there and feed. Let the grass grow up through it. Once the grass grows up through it, it's probably be alright. Yeah. Yeah, I could park here. I could park here. Is this for you? Is this that where you park out every night? I park it in a carport. Oh, why do you go back there? Feed? The feed. Get the garbage. Oh. What's the thing up that back fence? I can. Or is your, your feed trough up here? Water trough. That's fine. That's not a big deal. Walk across there with a couple buckets. Well, look, now, I don't care. His mom's the no, one. No, no, that's not. No, no, no you're, scared. you're scared of your mama. I'm not no, scared I'm of her. what she asked me to do. Uh, no, you're scared of her. No, it's honor your mother and your father. I honor y'all. Whatever y'all want me to do, I do it. I drag couches out. I drag dirt up here. I do whatever y'all want me to do. <laughs> you know what gets me about you, Dan? What's you that, see, Mom? you like to stir up stuff. <laughs> you like to stir stuff. You no. go in there in a minute. You go go in there in a minute. I know. I, I know you. I know you. Hey, mom. You know he's going to keep driving on there, mom. You know he's going to run it up, mom. Just so you fire her up. Yeah, you know what? I can't lie. I'm a truthful person. If you keep driving through here, you're going to run it back out. One day, when you come home and I've had to move out here to the man cave, it's going to be your fault. You and Kim for stirring it. I thought that's why you was cleaning it out in there so you could move in there. Uh, well, if I ever need to, I can, but I, I stuck my purpose out here. <laughs> I didn't have no room. Well, uh, one day you can tell the story about when you moved into the camp house. <laughs> when I run away? Yeah, when you run away, move to the camp out. Oh, that, that, that was tough back in, bud. You may want to say that for a later time. I may want to tell that story one of these days when I run away. <laughs> Why would he want to bring something like that up? Why? Tell me why. I'm telling you, folks, he likes to stir it up. Cuz come by, we had a long talk. Cuz had that surgery on that uh, uh, malignant melanoma, melanoma, yeah, on his arm. Uh, he got a good report back on it. The surgeon, they did the surgery and uh, uh, took the, tested all the area around it and uh, all came back negative, everything was clean. So he's on his road to recovery, getting over that. Said he feels great. Uh, ben, he's in their system now at MD Anderson. He'll be going back ever so many months for his like checkups and stuff, which is be good to keep up on stuff. Okay, I've got to go. See what kind of damage they did to my man cave. What are you doing in here? This is not your house. All right, these cabinets here are coming out. They're good cabinets. Uh, Kim is going to redo Tony's cabinets with these uh, in his house. Uh, he needs work done, and he's Kim. And Tina put these in here a couple of years ago, or three or four years ago, uh, when Dustin was living in here. And uh, they're good cabinets. They really work. So all the doors, drawers all work. Got a sink and all that. Uh, I don't need it. And plus, I got to do some floor work. It has to come out for me to do the work on the floor to start with. So in here, you can see all the space now I've got. And I'm going to start moving some furniture around. But, uh, 
it, that sofa took up so much room. I couldn't even get to my gun rack. I had to climb around behind it. Couldn't get to my cast iron pots and stuff if I wanted them. And now I can. So I've got four chairs to space out in here and we'll be able to work a little bit better. Okay. Roman, I don't need your help, son. I can tell you right now, I don't need a cat. I don't need an old lazy cat. Oh, I'm so sorry I said it, baby. Popo shouldn't have said it, okay? I apologize. I apologize. Okay. Okay, we've made a lot of room. Uh, with the sofa out of here. We got this chair here. Still got some lumber laying in it. <laughs> we still got the fireplace hasn't been finished. We'll do that tomorrow. Get the chair over there and the one here. And then plus the one I'm setting here. And then we go on around. And you can come around. I actually come all the way around and you can walk in behind my chair to my gun rack. And I got some totes on the floor here below the gun rack that I've got to go through that I moved stuff off the counters and stuff and just put it in totes so I wouldn't lose nothing. Then I'll go through them. I forget the counter out. I'm going to put some more shelves on that wall once I get that floor fixed. And, but tomorrow, hopefully Kim will get that, we'll be able to get that counter out. I can finish my fireplace and get it looking good and put all my decorations back up on it. And that means this chair will be empty. <laughs> Won't be no lumber in it. And those saws and stuff, all those tools will be out of here. All right, that's our plan. So now we're going to relax. Right. She got her trampoline. Uh, exercise on. And the LE's putting it together for her. What are you thinking, Ellie? Oh, it says in very bold letters, frame will snap open so please read step number three carefully so i, I would like to not get snapped open on my face so <laughs> i've probably reread it like 10 times because i'm trying to understand it <laughs> frame will snap open so please read number three carefully you can stay top side of the frame all right uh I Put your foot on it and push it down. Want me to hold it open while you... Yeah, it says using steady pressure with hands open and fingers in to push top side of frame over and down to open position, whatever that means. That Here, really... Can you read this and tell me what I don't understand. Well, that means look, we're going to push this one down, yeah, right? Push down. Don't let me fall. Here, you do, do this side. I'll do that side. Okay. Oh my lord. There oh it my is. Gosh. <laughs> there it is. Now, where is the snap? The thing that holds it into place. Um, you put the legs down, it will probably snap back up. Yeah, maybe. It... No, I saw him anchor something. I thought I did. Let's see. With the trampoline now open and still upside down, which we have it right, lift the legs to a Oh. Perpendicular position. Okay. So pull the legs up. There you go. Oh, yeah. Oh, they snap right in. I can't do it. I got it. Well, can I let go of this? Uh, you think it'll just stay there just in case? Wow, those are hard to do. Yeah. Especially this way. Right. Better back up, Kippy. You can't help. Oh, I think it's good. Some ones are longer than the others, which is confusing. I think. Uh, do your short ones. The short ones first, and then it'll, it'll stand up, and they will hold. Uh... And, I, and, I, and I see a little empty hole, so it's almost like on this side they did the long legs for you, but on that side they want us to do it ourselves. They said they think they're school teachers doing half of it for us and wanting us to do the other half ourselves. Yeah. Oh, that's too. That's way too. Oh, that's too. 
I think maybe that is if you want to incline. So these may not be necessary there. I the, think the if you want it flat, you use the short ones. Uh, if you want to yeah, incline, you so. use the tall ones. So we don't need the big ones open. I would lay the big ones back down. Unless you want to plan on climbing a hill. The, step, the next step is turn the trampoline right side up and adjust the fabric cover evenly around the jumping mats so it covers all the springs in an even manner. Okay, let's put this one back down, baby. Or pull the, it out. These are the two tall ones, yeah. They have it. It has to lay down. Yeah. The spring. How do you, how in the world do you do that? Did they just. Oh, 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 yeah. There you yeah, go. That's right. Yeah, there's a string over it. Yeah, over there, there's a string to keep it locked in. Right here, I think I'm standing on it. Yeah, there we go. All right, All right now right. flip it over. Yay! See, I, I give good instructions. <laughs> yep. <That's awesome. laughs> Stay here watching. Yeah. All right, get on there, Gene. Start jumping. No, no, no. no, no, no. It, has to, it has to be stabilized first. <laughs> That'd be horrible. It gets on it, the trampoline's not stabilized. Where, uh, where does the handle go? Which handle? These? Oh, uh, they go down through there. There's one of those things I think has a, I thought. Warning. What is that warning, sir? Go ahead, Ellie. Get on there. Uh oh, I had something crack. It's in position. Get in. Get on. Hop on it. I don't want to break. You're not going to break it. Are you more than 300 pounds? Yeah. No. You don't break yeah, there you go. See, nothing to it, G. Yeah, that ain't too bad. You might be good to go like that. No, I have to have my handle. All right, let's see where the handles, where they go. Is the handle like for like your arms or something? Yeah, to hold on so you got. All right, so we have to have the handles then. Yeah. Okay. All right, I assisted. All right. I assisted some. So don't think I just sit here. <laughs> Yeah, we got it together. Yep, we got it. All right, do a little jump. Just do a little exercise. No, I'm kidding. I ain't going to jump. You hang on to your hands. You just like you're running. It's like you're running. Yeah. Oh, yeah, look at you. Oh, we'll see OG. Uh, do that some more. I'm going to video it. Go ahead. Woo, yeah. <laughs> Benny knows how to do it really good, actually. That really, you'll come over one day. Irish dance thing, something like that. You'll come over one day. You'll see G in here doing that stuff. I'm yeah. doing it right now. Off okay, you here go. we go. Off you go. Here we go. All right. River dance. <laughs> I'm not doing a river dance. Y'all sure that's tight enough? It's it's it's, it's where it goes. It, it ain't go, it's all snapped in, baby. Get on it. Sure. Yes. Yeah. It can't go anywhere. Well, snapped in. I think you can do it. Have you just had it? Hip replacement. Well, no, I meant as far as and my, two I, bad knees. I meant as far as like my weight. Like, if it can support me, then it can support you. Thank you, baby. Yeah, of course. He's saying I'm smaller than him. Well, yeah, of course, baby. I, I would say that too. That's so <laughs> nice. Oh. Okay. Don't like this. Here you go. You got it. Oh, God. Ouch, ouch, ouch. It actually hurt him? Yes. It hurt both knees. I think you should stretch. No, look at it. Look at it, Ellie. Come on. I'm embarrassed. I think you need to stretch or warm up before you do that. because We can make a commercial for these people. I'm, I'm, 20, <laughs> I'm 22, and even if I do that before stretching, I start hurting too. So it might hurt you. It might not hurt you to kind of. I stretch when I get out of bed in the morning. There you go. Just yeah. get, no, I just get out of bed. I got to stretch. Oh. I'm excited. I don't know where I'm going to put it now because I forgot it was going to have this handle on it. Oh, yeah. And I can't roll it very easily. Right there. That's smack in the middle of the house. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, right in front of the TV. Okay. Then we'll bring that bike in. You have to be jumping for a while. You have to get on that bike, ride about 10 miles on it. Round and round the mopper. Push the mopper. Push the mopper. Round and round the mopper. Shoot. I had to go. <laughs> Your turn, oh, Kip. Oh, my gosh. Your turn, Kippy. Oh, my Lord. We left something off, Ellie. Oh, no. 
Where's that? Oh, going? it's just an extra part. Don't mean nothing. The one part we can't live without. No, it's probably to pull a spring. In case the spring comes loose, you have to hook it and pull them on there. Okay. All right. Hey, thank you so much. Oh, no problem. Oh, Lord. That's awesome. Oh, I'm tired, yay. I am so winded. Everybody, this is good exercise. If you need to build up your heart and your lungs. Oh gosh. <laughs> Ellie gonna show out now. He's just gonna show out. <laughs> I can't do it without holding on. <laughs> I gotta hold on so I All can right. practice football throws. <laughs>